And in this video, we're going to glue the back braces. Okay, first inspect the gluing surface. I've intentionally put some dirt on that surface and it appears shiny uh, when it's dragged. So if you see dirt or shininess, you'll need to sand it. Then uh, place your back braces where they go on the back and make sure everything's the right length. Uh, within a, It's okay if they're a little short. Now uh, practice the procedure for installing the brace. So we line it up with one side at an angle, then we as we pivot down, we line up with the other. And then we place our fingers on the brace spread out across its length for good pressure distribution. And we also don't move our fingers while it's setting. We'll hold them longer than that, as we'll see later. Get some accelerator, and you will um, put some little dabs of accelerator about every two or three inches along the brace end. And in particular, make sure you get the very end of the brace. And then continue your way. Um, across the back. Okay, make sure you have the right brace for where you're working. I usually work furthest away from me so I don't bump when I'm working later. But you don't want to put the brace on that accelerator after it's been applied. I'll talk about that later. Okay, put a moderate size bead of glue down the length of the brace and uh, just one bead is fine. This is a picture of it. This is a little excessive glue on the ends particularly, as we'll see, but it's better to have too much than too little. Now I'll line it up with one side, angle it down and line it up with the other. And you can see I sh sh got it a little bit off. You can shift it if you do it very quickly within a second or two, but it doesn't really matter um, if you leave it in the wrong place. So now I've got my fingers nicely distributed over the length of it, and I'm not moving my fingers, or as little as possible there, uh, for 10 seconds to 15 seconds. And as I release my fingers, and after I've released them, I check to make sure the brace is really secure. If you see any glue get sucked in and out as you release your fingers, or if you press again, then it's not fully cured, and um, or it's not held down, and you want to hold for another 10 or 15 seconds. Okay, we work our way down the uh, back. Same procedure, hold still for 10 or 15 seconds. Angle down, distributed pressure. Checking to make sure it's really down. Angle, down, hold. Okay, here's what you don't want to do. There's accelerator there and you transfer, I've transferred the accelerator to the bottom of the brace when I did that. And now when the glue touches that accelerator, it's starting to cure before it has a chance to get down. And that will result in a very bad joint. You also don't want to move your fingers around like I'm showing here, uh, or letting go. That just makes the bond worse than uh, not touching it at all. Make sure all the um, uh, glues are capped uh, when you're done.